everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you are new and if you are not, welcome back. So this is not a tarot video. It's not a tarot reading. I'm doing something a little bit different. I know I said in one of my readings that I was going to upload a cord cutting video for you guys if you are interested in that. So that's the video we're going to be doing today. Hopefully you guys don't mind seeing your girl face. Um, but yeah, so first, sorry, I'm just moving stuff around. I'm not used to being on camera, so sorry if I seem a bit nervous. It's because I am. All right, so first we're going to talk about cords and what they are. So cords are just energetic ties that you have with people. It can be with anybody. It doesn't necessarily just have to be a romantic partner or a relationship. It could be a family member. It can be a friendship. It could be anything along those lines. So when cords usually need to be cut is when you feel like you really just can't get over a person, right? You just keep thinking about them. You may have picked up some habits or something that they have or every time you think about a person you think something negative or you just really really can't get them out of your head you feel like it's something that you can't control those are all signs that a cord needs to be cut with a person or you have an energetic tie with a person and my own experiences as well i don't know if anybody well i know that there are some other psychic people out there but i tend to dream about the people that i need to cut cords with or i can feel their energy even after you don't talk to a person anymore even if you like block a person or something like that and it just doesn't seem to be enough if you're interested in a cord cutting or like a breakup spell as some people call it then continue to watch this video because i'm gonna show you how i cut cords with people who i no longer want to have ties with and people who i want to cut out of my life all right because we ain't got time for that i'm just gonna be breaking the energetic cords so I don't want to do too much editing on this video. I'm going to try to come to you as authentic as possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I have two candle holders here with me. They're dirty because I use them. I do a lot of candle magic and spell work. So it is what it is. They're dirty. Sorry about that. I have two gold candles here with me. Uh, this should be a pretty quick video for you guys. And then here, well, I guess I should hold this up, right? We got like two gold candles here. All right, we got the candle holders. And then this is a candle wick that I just cut the bottom off of. I don't know where I put the bag of wicks, but this is just a candle wick that I cut the bottom off of so we can connect the two candles. So you can purchase this already connected. They're really, really hard to find though. I haven't found one or they're really, really expensive to find. Um, so this is like a, just an easy way that you can do it yourself. And my two gold candles here, some people use colored candles depending on the relationship. You can do red if it was romantic, pink if it was a friendship or something like that, maybe yellow for family member. I personally don't really care about the color of the candle. I use gold candles for everything or white candles because that is what gives me personally like the best results. So we're gonna be using two gold candles today. And honestly, if you wanted to do this ritual with nothing at all, you technically don't even need candles. That's one thing I will say about spirituality. When I was new to spirituality, I thought that you needed a bunch of supplies and a bunch of candles and a bunch of intention oils and herbs, which I do have over here behind me. But to be quite honest with you, you don't need anything. You can meditate and cut cords with somebody through a meditation. I actually found a cord cutting meditation. Um, I can't remember the name of the person who posted it, but I'm gonna link that down below for you guys if you are interested in that cord cutting meditation and it doesn't require 
any tools but if you just want some tools and you want something just you know that you feel like would help i always feel like candle magic helps me candle magic and herb magic gives me the best results but i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna show you guys how to do this so the first thing that you want to do is make sure you're cleansing your candles right these are already cleansed and ready to go give me one second my roommate just came into the kitchen so we're gonna let her do her thing okay and then i'll be back so my roommate is done whatever she was doing in the kitchen so we're gonna go ahead and continue the video so the first thing that you want to do is you have two candles here one is going to be for you and one is going to be for the person that you want to cut ties with yeah so um you can carve your name into these candles or the next step i would take is would be to carve the names in the candle so one of them you're going to carve your name and then the other candle you are going to carve the person's name that you want to cut ties with. I usually have like little scissors or a knife, but I can't find my little scissors today because I just can't find it. So <laughs> I'm going to use, um, this is like a nail clipper with like the file end out. So I'm going to be using that to carve the names and the candles. So I'm going to carve my name in this first candle. So hopefully you guys can see that. That is my name carved in the first candle and you would carve the name of the second person in the second candle. What you wanna do, and you can use candle wax for this if you want to connect the candles together, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tie them because my candle wick here is pretty long and my nails are actually short. Or a chain so I figured that's why I record it I would record this video and take advantage of my nails being short because if you watch my tarot readings you already know that my nails be super long and I can't do nothing with them but uh so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and connect these candles together So I have my two candles connected together just by twisting the wicks together here. All right, so we're gonna put these in the candle holders. And all right, so at this point, you can just light the candles, which I'm gonna be doing in a second. But a, another good thing that has worked for me is literally writing down what you want to say to the person, especially if you are dealing with somebody, let's say, who ghosted you or you feel like you didn't get closure with. You can write a letter to that person really saying like what you would have said to them to get closure for yourself, what you wish you could have told them and things of that nature. Or if you have a um spell incantation that you would like to say at this point you can find a ton of them online a ton of them on pinterest something along the lines of i send your energy back to you and i call all of my energy back to myself and i cut these cords between us that's just something that i came up with in my head but there are a ton of them that you can find online that might suit your ritual better there is no right or wrong way to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll grab some matches or a lighter and we're gonna cut these cords. We're gonna sever this tie with, you know, this person or whoever you are trying to sever ties with. So I got some matches here. We're gonna go ahead and cut these cords and sever this tie with this person. If you like, you can read your letter out loud or like I said before, you can say your incantation. So go ahead and cut cords with this person. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this. And uh, you're gonna light it right in the middle. And as you can see, the wick will burn and eventually it will 
separate. I do have my ceiling fan on, probably not the best thing, but all right. So there we have it. So this is you essentially cutting cords with this person. You can let both of the candles burn all the way down, which is what I do. If you have a letter that you have written to this person, I would go ahead and put it underneath both of the candles. You may have to do this ritual a few times depending on how significant this person was in your life or if you feel like there is energy still there. So definitely don't feel bad about having to do this ritual multiple times if you need to. This candle is popping, okay? But <laughs> but yeah, so essentially that is the cord cutting ritual. I'm gonna go ahead and let both of these candles burn all of the way down. And if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I know this video was really, really quick. I know this is not my usual tarot reading and this is something different, but definitely let me know if you guys like this type of video because I can do other stuff too, okay? So if you have any other videos that you would like to see on rituals or spell work or anything like that, definitely drop them in the comment section down below and I'll get that up for you guys. So thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.